The second battle of Alberta will see the Edmonton Oilers close out a five-game road trip, which has seen them go 3-0-1 so far. Edmonton and Calgary enter Saturday night's contest with identical 24-17-5 records as both sit just one point back of the Pacific Division leading Vegas Golden Knights. The Flames have won five consecutive games, four of which have come in one goal fashion, while the Oilers have turned things around after what they deemed a poor December. But tonight's storylines aren't just about the big implications that this game will have on the standings, as it also marks the first time James Neal returns to Calgary. I scored my whole career. I scored 20 goals every, every year I've played, played in the league. So um, I was expecting to go in and score 20 goals last year. Uh, that didn't happen. Um, you know, you can look at, I think you did, we did it all year last year. What is it? What's wrong? What's going on? I mean, I don't know. It's tough to say, but I um, went back like any summer, put my work in and came back ready to be, be myself and be the player I know I can be and uh, be counted on to score big goals for your team and be a leader and um, do all the things that can uh, make a team win. And, uh, you know, I love playing the playoffs. I want wanted to come here and, and, and be a guy that guys could lean on and we could get to the, get to be being back to a playoff team and um, be an impact player. So uh, it feels good to to be like that. It feels good to be counted on like that. And um, it's uh, it's been good so far this year. James Neal will continue to occupy the team's top left wing spot alongside Connor McDavid and Zach Cassian. Sam Gagne also draws in for Drew Jarkera as he will skate with Gaetan Haas and Alex Chason. Miko Koskinen is set to make his first start since New Year's Eve versus the Rangers as the netminder is 2-3-0 lifetime against the Flames with a 9-1-3 save percentage. The team has a, has a great deal of confidence in both guys. And, you know, we were a little bit down in December, but you know the the goalies take their fair share of that, but we didn't play very well in front of them either. But uh, but both our goaltenders, like I said the other day, our players look. It doesn't matter who's playing in goal; they think we're going to get a good game from our goaltender, and I expect that tonight. You, you want to be a guy that's in the lineup every night, um, you know, and it's uh, it's tough sitting out watching. Um, you know, I think your competitive nature. Uh, you know, you just you want to play and you want to be a part of things and uh, you want to help the team, but. You know, the team's been playing well, and um, you know, I just uh, got to make sure I, you know, you got to make sure you stay ready while you're out. And uh, I've done that, and you know, excited to, uh, to get a look tonight, and uh, hopefully give the team a boost. And the first time these two provincial rivals met was back on December 27th, where the Flames skated out of Rogers Place with a 5-1 victory, thanks in large part to Andrew Mangiapani's three-point night from the Scotiabank Saddle Dome in Calgary. Tony Brar, Oilers TV.